What's up everybody? I thought I'd just do a quick video on how to have enough emergency food around on the cheap to last you a month or two in the event that something happens and you can't go to the grocery store for a while. I know for some people it prepping and all of this seems like this kind of overwhelming task and I know everybody's broke right now and there's a thousand channels with a thousand videos on prepping. Uh, don't make a big deal out of it. Sure, this Patriot survival food is probably great stuff. I've never had it, but I I used to eat, you know, backpacking meals all the time, mountain house meals, and they're great, but they're expensive. So here's just some simple, cheap stuff that can keep you going in an emergency. And look, we're talking about survival emergency mode here, not what you like to eat every day. It's just something to fill your belly. And to give you some energy and the ability to think straight. Most people don't know this. When you start getting on the far edge of malnutrition, you can't think straight. First off, you need a way to cook. These little butane stoves are very affordable and are completely low-key if there's a situation where you know you don't want people outside to know you're cooking. The stove is 30 bucks. You can get a 12-pack of butane cans for another 30 bucks. And I'll tell you, a 12-pack will last months, and it's extremely reliable. I've had this thing for over five years, and it looks it, huh? <laughs> That's more of an off-brand. The Plano, the Coleman, I would say, which I have one of those in the van, is what I'd recommend. Uh, and you don't need a 12-pack. If your goal is only to have food for a month, and you know, just start with a month's worth of food and then work your way up from there. These canisters are $3 a piece at any Walmart. Grab you four of those, that'll get you through a month. So $30 stove, four of these, you're at $45.50. Bucks. Everybody knows about beans and rice. It's good to have. But if you've never made beans and rice from scratch, it takes a really long time to cook that stuff. And if you don't cook it, then it's going to give you a lot of stomach problems. So honestly, this stuff, I, I'm to where I can make a fire where I'm at. And this is more where, you know, if I need to, I'll cook a pot and that'll last for four days. But here's some good, cheap, effective foods that you can cook quickly. Everybody's body has a little bit different needs. But, you know, for me, I've known for a long time, carbs in the morning for breakfast. And then I, I can go all day without food. Don't prefer to. But then it's good to have some protein and something at night. But if you're in a situation where you're really needing this stuff, you're not going to be a picky eater. And there's a lot of people with special diets that are going to realize that's a bunch of crap when it gets down to where there's nothing to eat. So quick oats, nice, easy, simple, cheap. And your body should be burning off the carbs faster than anything else anyway. Pancakes, this is the simplest way to make bread. All you have to do is add water. Blueberry pancakes are great. I got quite a bit of that, but then also I've just got the plain. So if I want like some bread to go with the canned meat or something, then, you know, it's not an ideal meal, but it, it's bread. Okay. <laughs> what goes great with both of those and makes it where you can actually cook the pancakes? Butter. So it's really simple to make shelf stable butter to where it doesn't have to be refrigerated. It's called ghee and there's plenty of videos out there that you can look it up and see how to make it. It's literally just butter and some canning jars and a large pot to boil the water in. You don't need a pressure cooker or anything like that. And if you're going to have a stash of pancakes, then you're going to need the butter because it's hard to cook butter with anything else. You can use cooking oil, but it doesn't work like butter. And then just a simple source of good protein, get peanut butter. And trust me, when you're hungry and you want to mix things up, you're going to be slapping that peanut butter all over some pancakes and then drizzling some syrup all over it. But look, this isn't about what you like to eat. I mean, I, you know, I've got all kinds of meat in the freezer and stuff. I've got salt. So if the power goes out, then I can salt cure the meat and a lot of stuff to make pasta dishes. But, you know, this is kind of after you go through the stuff that you regularly like to eat. Mac and cheese, ramen noodle. You can pretty easily go to the grocery store and have a full tote or two for a hundred bucks and a way to cook it. And then, you know, every time I go to the grocery store, I just grab another can or two of, you know, canned meats, some veggies and some fruits. But honestly, in my day-to-day -day diet, I, I, 
I eat some vegetables, but it's mainly just for taste and contrast. The canned ham is actually crap, but if you put it in your beans and rice, then it adds quite a bit to it. Spam or treat is actually a lot better than those cans of ham. Like I said, that's something that I would hardly ever eat by itself. The treat or or spam, you can fry it up and it's not too bad. But look, just get you some simple basics and work up from there. I mean, this stack that I'm showing you right here would probably last me three to four months. And, you know, I've got several stashes. So I'm in a position to help out others should I choose to do so or to barter for freedom seeds or whatever. But look, you don't have to make a big deal out of it. It doesn't have to be this big way of life. I mean, I know there's prepper channels that are dedicated to that alone. And that's not what prepping is to me. I mean, I, I love those channels and more power to them. But it, it's not a, it's, uh, they're a good source of news, honestly. They keep up with what's going on. But it's not about worrying about every little thing. It, it's about having everything so something does happen, you're covered for a while. And I'm sure other people will have other great ideas down in the comments. So it's not incredibly expensive to have a little bit of peace of mind. Static out.